Why are they shooting at him? No, I'm recording this. Why are they shooting? They all they did was run and they're shooting at them. Big story coverage now. Hundreds of protesters taking to the streets this evening, angry and upset over the police shooting of Antoine Rose and not deterred by tonight's intense rain. We're hearing from his family for the first time tonight. Channel 11's Mike Holden joins us live in East Pittsburgh. And Mike, it was very tense out there, I know, at times, but that demonstration was peaceful. Peaceful overall, Lisa. No arrests. And just over the last five minutes, as we were going live, we noticed. All of the demonstrators have left the area and Electric Avenue is back open to all through traffic. You can see some cars speeding through here as the rain continues to come down. But as you mentioned, we just got a statement from Antoine Rose's family for the first time. And let me tell you this, it's emotional. I want to show it to you right now, so take a good look. They said in part, quote, it is difficult to find justification in the shooting of 17-year-old rising senior high school student Antoine Rose II. From all accounts, he was a generous, hardworking, and highly promising student. Affirmations of his generosity of spirit and genuine good-heartedness have begun pouring in. And back out here live, demonstrators say this was not right. This was not justified, and they say they plan to come back out to the streets tomorrow. Fired up and fed up, demonstrators took to the streets and demanded action in the name of the late 17 year old Antoine Rose. What made you afraid that of a fleeing person running from you that you have to open fire and shoot him? They chanted, cheered, and broke down over the events that unfolded Monday evening along Grandview Avenue. I want them to take action on the officers that obviously committed murder that day. Rose, who was captured on a video posted on Facebook, was spotted fleeing a traffic stop. He was shot three times times. Investigators say the teen was unarmed and we are learning tonight the rookie officer responsible was just hours into his first shift with East Pittsburgh police. As a black man it was heartbreaking. I almost shed a tear. As the night progressed, rain poured down, but it didn't send demonstrators home. They gathered under this bridge and continued to chant all while police stood nearby. This is perhaps the most powerful image. Teens and adults holding hands, eyes closed, sitting in the middle of Electric Avenue as the rain came down. Rose's cousin spoke out. And I just want everybody to pray for him and his family. This is terrible. This group united, but they say they feel there is a clear division and they want to be able to trust police. They're doing what they stand for is not what is needed in today's world. And as we mentioned, these demonstrators have told Channel 11 that they will continue to fight, they will continue to protest, and there's actually another demonstration slated for noon tomorrow in front of the Allegheny County Courthouse. We'll bring you the latest live developments. Also, coming up in about 15 minutes, we're hearing from more family members their very strong message to the local police department. Reporting live in East Pittsburgh, Mike Holden, Channel 11 News.